Welcome back to Living in Sedona channel. That's L-I-V-I-N in Sedona. Stick around. We're going to talk about what my favorite thing about spring break is living in Sedona. Welcome back. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Cami. I'm one of your local real estate agents serving the Sedona and Verde Valley area. And uh, today I just wanted to do a quick video again about the weather. I know, I think I said the last time I did a video, I wasn't going to do another video on this, but um, I was, uh, I just had a recent closing with uh, a buyer that was from Hawaii. He is from Hawaii, still in Hawaii. And um, we chat pretty much a couple every, every couple days just because he's getting ready to move and make the transition to Sedona. And he always asks me, what's the weather today? What's it like there today? Uh, it's kind of his way of, you know, getting his mind, I think, mentally prepared to, instead of seeing an ocean every day, he gets to see the beautiful red rocks. So um, I thought I would just do a video on um, spring break in Sedona because it's such a hot topic right now when you're on Facebook and, and different um, platforms that are talking about what it's like in Sedona uh, during spring break. Two things I'm just going to talk about. The first one is, and my favorite, is um, the weather. Uh, if you're coming from an area that is still getting winter and snow, which I, I just got back from Ohio, I had a visit back there to see some of the kids and um, it snowed while I was there and it was literally 16 degrees. Um, so I couldn't wait to get back to Sedona because the weather is at this time of year, it's March, the middle of March. And um, here's what's great about spring break time in Sedona weather wise. It is cool in the morning and usually in the evenings, but during the day, the sun is typically always out and we are talking about temperatures that are 65 to 70 degrees, and it's just gorgeous. Uh, behind me, you'll see um, a little bit of clouds, and yesterday we had literally a just downpour, I wanna say for maybe a minute, it might have even been 45 seconds, it was the strangest thing, and then the clouds parted and the sun was out the rest of the day. So um, I think that there is that uh, risk of some sort of precipitation if you're visiting in Sedona during the spring break time, just because remember, we're about 45 minutes to an hour south of Flagstaff, which is still sometimes at this point getting snow. And so um, we might have a rain shower, but it's not something that actually, and actually it's starting to rain. Uh, <laughs> um, it, it doesn't last, it goes away, it's quick, and um, the weather is just beautiful. So it's a beautiful time of year to be here because you can be outside, it's not too hot to hike, and um, you could just be out doing hiking, biking, even just taking a stroll, just sitting on your patio, just indoor, enjoying the views. So I think the weather during spring break is um, probably my favorite thing. And we're going to have weather like this, you know, probably for the next, I would say, month. So if you're visiting during spring break time, um, dress in layers. Like I have, a, you know, layers on today. And later today, I won't have this many layers. So um, it'll warm up and, and the sun will warm us up and it'll be fabulous. The other thing I'm going to talk about is the traffic. <laughs> Everybody has questions about the traffic, and um, I, I want to just quickly say that when we were visiting with our kids, um, and we were tourists of Sedona, we always came during um, spring break, so sometime in March or April, and we, we knew that the traffic was not going to be um, wonderful, so we just planned ahead. And um, I, so I, I just encourage you, if you're visiting, plan ahead to sit in traffic and give yourself plenty of time to get to where you need to go. You, there's only three ways into Sedona. So, you know, when you add a bunch of people into the three avenues, it's just gonna get congested. So enjoy the views while you're out driving and um, remember that if the locals are yelling at you, <laughs> it's just because you need to learn how to do a roundabout. Now, I won't go any further into that, but just be, we're trying to be patient with you. 
and you need to be patient with us as well just because um, you know we're we're trying our best to do our daily life because we're still working we're still living here and all of these people are here um, you know mostly down in the weekends it gets awfully congested but um, don't let the traffic deter you from coming. Um, it's still a wonderful time of year to be here uh, and a wonderful time to experience the beauty that Sedona offers. And so um, just take everything with a stride and patience and, and just enjoy your time here. So I, I hope that um, the video was informative in the way of weather wise and maybe local traffic wise, but um, I'm going to try to make it a great day at living in Sedona, even though it is starting to rain. It's not going to last. It'll be gone here shortly, and uh, you make it a great day as well. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I uh, hope to see you on the next video, which I am hoping is going to be a hike at uh, Chimney Rock. So stick around for that. Make it a great day.